Hi everyone, welcome back to our Drupal tutorial series. Today we are going to learn about event subscribers in Drupal and will show you a cool example of how to use them to display a custom message when updating an article type node. Let's jump right in. So before that, what's an event subscriber in Drupal? Think of it as a listener that pays attention to a specific events happening in a Drupal like creating, deleting or updating a node or user login or user accessing any URL. When one of these events occur, the event subscriber kicks in and lets you run your custom code. It's like having Drupal tap on your shoulder and say, hey something just happened, want to do something about it? Now let's write the code to create an event subscriber. You make a new class in this class, you tell Drupal which events you are interested in and what code to run when they happen. So for this example, I will show you whenever I update the any node whose content type is article, that time I want to show a custom message. So I will show you the what the default message looks like after updating the this article content type node. I will now update this article. So here you can see Right now the default message is article welcome to Drupal Academy has been updated. Now I want to add one more custom message after updating this article content type node. So to display this custom message we need to create the event subscriber and call that event whenever the, the node of the article content type is updated. So for that we need to create the event subscriber. So for this demo purpose, I already created this event subscriber. Now I will explain you from the starting. So to create the event subscriber inside your custom model, this is the custom user info is my model name. Inside the src folder, create the event subscriber folder and inside that we need to create the event subscriber class. In this class, first I have mentioned the namespace. After that, I have included the, the Symphony event subscriber interface class. Next is the Symphony component HTTP kernel kernel events. And third one is the Symphony component HTTP kernel event request event. After that, created this class which implements the event subscriber interface. And inside this class, the first static function is get subscribe event and in that I have called the this custom function on node update because we want to display the message on the node update we will write that functionality inside this node update function so I will remove these comments this on node update function I set the object of this request event class First line is the route match which checks if the parameter has the node value. After that I have checked if the that node content type is equal to article and the method is post and on the next step I have displayed this message the article has been updated using the event subscriber. Save this file. Next step is we need to register this event subscriber inside this services.yml file. Here we have registered the event subscriber as a service. So you can pause the video and refer the code. So in this service I have created this custom service which points to the our class even inside the event subscriber folder event custom event subscriber this is the our class. in tag pass the event subscriber after creating these two files now we will go to the backend before i show you after updating we are just getting this message after that i will show you by updating this node article type i will add the dot here click on the save button So here you can see the custom message is visible. The article has been updated using the event subscriber. This message we have added inside this on node update function. This is the message which we are getting. 
in this way we can add the our custom message the event subscriber can be used in multiple scenarios like if you want to show the message after adding the new node for the particular content type or whenever user access any url so that's it from this video you have just learned about the event subscribers in a drupal and how to use them to add custom functionality if you found this tutorial helpful give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more drupal tips thank you for watching